Hi there, welcome to our new project for this week, which is our bat project. And we're gonna create a bat, um, a nighttime bat, with also a little bit of a moon, which will be kind of fun. So for this project, we'll need our printout of the bat with the moon. And you'll also need um, some, just a little bit of yellow paper, construction paper. We're also gonna need a piece of black construction paper for the bat, and then a piece of blue construction paper for the background for the bat. And then of course, you're also gonna need a glue stick to glue all the paper down and then a pair of scissors to cut out our template. So let's start with our template here. I'm gonna grab that template back. And here's our bat template. So I want to um, show you a, a simple way of cutting out the bat, a little bit of an easier way, but let's cut out this moon first to get that off the paper. So I'm gonna start with this moon. And a little trick to do that is I like to kind of cut around the outside of it first. So now it's a smaller piece which gives you a lot easier movement to hold the paper and to cut it out. So let's go and do this. This is a half moon shape. So when you look at the moon in the sky, sometimes it's a full moon, which is like an all round shape. Sometimes it's a half moon. And so this is what we're gonna use for our project today. And so I'm cutting this out. And again, you can always pause this uh, project if you'd like to and to catch up with me if you need to. So pause it and come back. And then if you need to just catch up, just pause it. So I'm cutting out my moon with my scissors and just finishing that up. Check out my extra pieces of paper and put those aside. And then I'm gonna take this template and just put it over here out of the way so you can kind of see that for after. Now we're doing our bat. One a easier way to cut this out because it's a lot of cuts and a lot of different sizes and shapes. So I'm gonna take the bat and you can even have someone help you with this if you'd like to. I'm gonna fold it in half right into the middle of the bat. And you can have someone help you fold it so we can get it in the right spot. So you want to look at the bat and make sure it's right down the center. And then as you're folding it, then it's going to help you because you're going to be basically cutting out both sides of the bat. And so they're exactly the same. Okay, so that should be okay. Now it doesn't necessarily have to follow the other side. As long as, long as you do it this way, it should be just fine. So make sure it's just folded down the center. And if you want to, you're welcome to just open it up and cut the whole bat out. Or you can fold it down the center and just cut half out, and that way it's equal on both sides. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and cut it out the full way to show you the whole bat. So you can do either one, whichever one's easier for you. And for this one, I'm just gonna cut the whole bat right around the outside edge. And you can take your time when you're doing this. I like to use smaller little cuts because I'm cutting around these circle, circle areas, these rounded areas. And then here it goes, last one there. But this one I like to cut right off the edge. Cut that off, gives you extra uh, way to hold your paper. So it makes it a little bit easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue right on here. And I'm gonna cut this one right off too. So it gives you less paper to hold. It makes it a little easier as you're cutting. And now here's a little tricky part, so I go real slow right around this section. Now I have to turn my paper as I cut. Just try to cut. And just make little tiny cuts right around his ears and his head. And this is a project as far as our Halloween bag. So this one's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna cut right off the edge there too. Now we're on our final section here. And I just have this last little section to go. All right, so now we have our bat template cut out and our moon. So let me go ahead and move these extra papers out of the way, make space. And our background paper for this project is gonna be our blue paper. And this is gonna kind of represent the night sky. So that's why we're using this dark blue paper. And you can put our bat on the paper. I'm gonna move it a little bit to the side here at a little bit of an angle. So it looks like he's kind of flying. And I'm probably gonna put our moon right about here. But you, when you're doing yours, you can decide if you wanna move him like this or over here. 
as long as he's on the paper, you can decide where you want him to go. So that's the fun part. And you need the moon too. The moon can be anywhere around the paper. So I'm gonna put mine right about here. So I'm gonna start off with my glue stick to make sure that it's turned up so you can have the glue on it. And I'm just gonna turn it over <clears throat> and start just putting some glue on. Go make sure you go all the way to the outside edges of his wings here. Make sure that you're only gluing on this and not going too much onto the, the blue paper. It's okay if you go over the edge a little bit. Sometimes you can go in circles or you can go in lines. You see which one is easier for you. And it's a little bit hard to go, just go very gentle on the outside edges where his wings are. And go right down where you're holding him here. So he's pretty much covered. Now I'm gonna take him, of course, since it goes on this, I'm gonna turn him over. And I'm gonna see where I want him to go. And I think I want him to fly right about here. So put him down and fly him where you want him to go and put him down and spread his wings out gently and spread him onto the paper so he's nice and stuck on there now. Now my moon, I'm gonna go ahead and take my glue stick and do the same thing, glue on the back of it. And now I'm gonna pick up my moon and see, I want. I think I want it to go right about here. Okay, so now my moon's on and my bat is on. We're all ready to go. So for this one, we want our bats are usually black. Sometimes in real life, bats can be black, they can be brown, but for our project this week, we're gonna make ours a black bat. It's a really good one for Halloween. So now we're gonna take our black paper and I'm gonna tear it into strips so we can use them to paint in the areas with our paper. So I'm gonna hold it with one hand like this and then hold it with the other hand and tear down this way towards myself. So I'm gonna tear down some strips of paper. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the whole paper because it's fun to tear it. Okay. And here's one last strip. So now we have some strips of black paper that we're gonna tear into smaller pieces so we can cover our bat in. So I'm gonna take probably three or so pieces of paper and kind of tap them down so in a little bit of a pile. And then I'm going to take those papers and make them just smaller pieces. So we're gonna make about like, kind of like square shapes or rectangles, just tearing down again. And as you're tearing, you're gonna make smaller pieces. And they really can be all different sizes and shapes because we're gonna tear them up smaller if we need to. Now this is a little bit of a smaller project. So we want to do some smaller pieces too. And we can make those as we go through. Whenever you need to fill in a small project, a little section of a project, you can always tear it into smaller pieces. Okay, so now I have a little pile of my black paper. I'm gonna kind of spread it out a little bit so I can see the different sizes. All right, so now we're going to use our glue stick and you can either take the paper and pick it up and glue the back of it and place it where you want it to go. Or you can also just put glue down on the area that you want to use to start and then put the paper right onto the glue itself. So you can choose whichever one you'd like to do. I don't want you to put too much glue at one time because it'll start to dry up. So just do a little bit of glue at a time and then go back and put some paper. So now we take our paper and we're gonna paint in our um, bat with all these colors. So now he's gonna be a black bat and we're gonna fill in all this white space with the black paper. So now I'm gonna go to his head since I'm right over here. I'm gonna put some glue right on his ears and his head area. And then you see that this is a pretty small area where he has his little ears. So this one has a pointed section at the top. So actually that's a perfect piece. Look how this kind of fits right in there. And if it doesn't, you can tear a piece that you want it to fit right in. You wanna match that shape up. So that one actually worked out pretty good. Now, let me see if I have any other triangle pieces out like that. So that one looks like it has a little bit of a point on it too, which kind of matches that shape. So I'm gonna put this one on his e other ear. And if you don't have those, you can just tear it up so you can make it fit that area. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one right and then his covering is in now. I'm gonna overlap the other pieces, which means I'm gonna cover up some of the other spots too. So that's gonna overlap. I'm gonna put one more piece on his head to cover up those little pieces of white. So 
a little bit more glue right here. And I'd like to just cover up all of the white. You can leave a little bit of white left if you want to. Okay, so now I have his head filled in and let's go ahead and go back to over here where his wing is. Let's fill in all of his wing area. So I'm gonna put glue right about a little bit down. So this section here is gonna be glued all ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with my paper and fill in these areas. So look at this, I have a nice triangle shape that kind of matches this little end here. Now you can tear it and put it in, but I already had one, so I'm just gonna put that right on top and look at how that matches up. If you don't already have one, then you can tear one and make it that way, or you can even tear small little tiny pieces that fill in the area. Okay, so now I have a few more spots that we wanna fill in of his wing right on this side. And usually bats come out at night. That's why we're doing a night scene with the blue background. So it kind of has a little bit of a night sky. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a little bit more glue so that I can overlap this piece, which means cover up over. See, I'm gonna overlap it so it covers up other pieces. And I'm gonna keep going down and put a little bit more glue in over here. So this section has glue on it now. And then I'm just gonna go in with some more pieces and fill that in. I'm gonna get a little tiny piece right here because it's a little bit on the end. And I have a little bit of white spot and I'm gonna put this over it. You don't have to cover every single white spot if you don't want to, but I just want to put a little bit of a piece of black on that one. So now I'm using my glue to fill in this section, kind of in the middle. And I'm gonna go right to about here. So now this whole section is put, has a glue on it. So I'm gonna go right in with my black paper and fill this all in with nice little squares of black paper, or little pieces of black paper. I'm gonna flip this one over, it matches better that way. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, filling this in. So anywhere you see the white on the back, you're gonna wanna fill that in with black. And you can tear the pieces to fit where you want them to go. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller and that way it'll fit right into little smaller, little smaller places. Look how small that one is, have a little tiny piece. When they get small like that, it's a little bit hard to work with, so just take your time. And if your hands get too sticky, you can always just take a break and go wipe them off or wash them so they don't get stuck all over the paper. Okay, so now I have this pretty filled in. Look, he's halfway over, halfway filled in. So now I'm gonna keep on going and just use my glue. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit so I can, more glue can come out. And I'm just gonna glue all, almost halfway through. So I glued all the way up from here to here. So now I'm gonna take these pieces and fill in this area. See, this one goes, could match about there. And again, it's all about tearing them up. So if you have a little section that you want to fill in and your piece is too big, just tear a little piece off and stick it right where you want it to go. And I'm gonna put some more glue on here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all the rest of my white over here with the glue so it's ready to go. pretty good. And when you're making your project, you can even name your bat if you want to. I think I'm going to name mine Charlie. What are you going to name your bat? You can let me know after you submit your project, you can let me know what you named it if you want to name him. Okay. 
And then this one has a little bit of a point. I think I'm going to look through my pieces and see if I have one that has a point like a triangle. And this one has a kind of a triangle. So I'm going to use this one or you can just tear it and make it a triangle. So that one fits pretty good right in that spot. And it's just tore off. I'm going to put this on there. So that fits in right in that spot and pretty much covers up all that area. So now I'm going to move all my extra black out of the way. And look, it looks pretty good so far. That's our our flying bat in the night sky. So now we have our moon over here. Now, sometimes moons, of course, can look white in this in, our, in the real sky, and sometimes they can look orange and yellowy, but for our moon, for our Halloween moon, we're gonna use a good yellow paper to fill in our moon with yellow. So we don't need very much for this. I'm gonna tear off one strip of yellow, and we're gonna make smaller pieces. Look how small our moon is compared to our bat. It's pretty small. So let's go and just tear up a few smaller pieces. And let's see how that goes. So we can tear them up and get them ready. So I have a few smaller pieces here. And let's go ahead and use our glue stick now. Let's just, it can fill, you can probably fill the whole moon in with your glue if you want, or just even half of it. And it only stays gluey for maybe a couple of minutes. So if you're gonna take longer to do it, maybe take a break in between, you can always just do glue half of it and do half at a time. All right, so see how the um, moon has little points? So I'm gonna tear this off to make a little bit of a kind of a point on my moon. Just use your hands to just make it the shape you want it to be. So that's the tip of my moon there. And I'm going to tear this one off too to fill in this end of the moon. So now I have both ends of my moon ready to go. So I have little, almost like little triangle shapes on the ends. So now you can take other pieces. Again, smaller pieces work best with the moon since it is a smaller section. And just fill in all the white sections that you need to. You might need to go back and add a little bit more glue so they'll stick on better. All right, so now I have my moon filled in and I have my bat filled in and he can fly around in the night sky. So there's my bat already done and make sure that you post a picture of your project in the classroom so I can take a look at it and also do the activities for this week in the classroom as well. And we'll see you back here next week.